What's worse than wasting money? Spending it on dumb things that make you look silly. Like us peasants, rich people fall into the same trap of jumping onto the latest trends. Except when they do it, it's way more stupid and way more expensive. For this list, All Things Top 5 looks at the top 5 dumb things rich people buy. They say money can't buy happiness, but it sure as hell can buy everything else, even if those things are dumb. There you go. Number 5. Pet Cloning For us mere mortals, when Fido dies, we have a burial in the backyard or lie to our children that he moved to a farm upstate. Know ye now what it feels like to be dog god? Commencing DNA extraction! For the wealthy, they can skip all that foreplay and have a company like Vigen Pets clone their beloved companion. Vigen Pets claims to be the world leader in cloning the animals that we love. The rich can have their dogs cloned for a mere $50,000, $85,000 for a horse, and $35,000 for a cat. For a cat? I could get you a kid for that. In an interview with Variety, Barbara Streisand revealed that two of her three dogs were clones. Specifically, the dogs had been cloned from the cells taken from the mouth and stomach of Streisand's late dog Samantha, baked in a magical easy bake oven Jurassic Park style, and now popped two dogs in the most unnatural way possible. I mean, suppose the clones have no sore, but they're dangerous. Clone pets are every bit as safe as real pets. Plus, they're insured. The two dogs have different personalities, Streisand told Variety. She further says, I'm waiting for them to get older so I can see if they have her brown eyes and her seriousness. You know, a lot of other families would have just gotten a different dog and moved on. Number 4. Blood Boy If the younger generation feels like the boomers are out to suck them dry, they may actually be onto something. The rich are very much like vampires. They live in gaudy mansions, have creepy eyes white judge style orgies, and wear the same stupid outfit every day. Are you dressed like Steve Jobs? Oh, am I? Well, I suppose Steve and I always have shared a similar aesthetic. In 2016, a U.S. startup called Ambrosia started injecting rich people's veins with the blood plasma from donors as young as 16. The company charged patients $8,000 to $12,000 per treatment to participate in clinical trials. Ambrosia says patients have reported subjected improvements in athletics, memory, skin quality, sleep, and also shows signs of resistance to developing Alzheimer's disease and cancer. Well, the science is actually pretty fascinating. Regular transfusions of the blood of a younger, physically fit donor can significantly retard the aging process. And Bryce is a picture of health. Just look at him. He looks like a Nazi propaganda poster. FDA is warning all future daywalkers that there's not only no proven clinical benefits to barely legal plasma, but also that it should not be considered safe. For us peasants, we'll just have to stick with eating healthy, exercising, and buying insurance. Yep, eat it. Put it in your mouth and just eat it. Take God, a I hate it. I don't care whether you hate it. You said Michael, you'd do it. All right. Michael. Eat it. Eat it. Number three, fake area codes. Us peons don't pay much attention to the three-digit area code in our phone number. But among rich people, those three digits means that you're from the good part of town. I'm not one to make trouble. But it seems to me that everyone who got to keep the old or classic 636 area code lives on the rich side of town! Among this group of trust fund a-holes, it's so shameful to have the wrong area code that they're willing to spend upwards of $30,000 to get the right one. For example, 212 is the iconic Manhattan area code, and it's the one tied to most established businesses and is seen as a status symbol. Ugh. I'm a 347 area code. How awful is that? 347 is the new New York. Well, I want the old New York. Old New York, new New York. Honey, at least it's New York. The New York Times did a story on this area code boom where one area code snob showed her 212 number to her friends who instantly got jealous. So, if you want to pretend like you're an original New Yorker, you're going to need to pay up. 646? What is this? That's your new area code. I thought 646 was just for new numbers. This is a new number. No, 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 it's not a new number. It's, it's, it's just a change number. See, it's, it's not different. It's the same, just changed. Number two, fancy ice. Rich people are paying up to $75 for 10 ice cubes that is meticulously designed for premium drinks and cocktails. Glacé Luxury Ice Company Ice are individually carved from a 300-pound block to ensure a flawless quality and a zero-taste profile, never contaminating the essence of premium liquors. 
These perfectly spherical chunks of ice are made from purified water and are precisely 2.5 inches in diameter, which scientists will tell you is the exact diameter at which ice reaches maximum levels of douchiness. Serving these frozen spheres isn't as easy as putting the ice into a drink. That would be for poor people. First, carefully remove the ice from the frozen pouch. Then, wait 3 minutes for a frost to form on its surface before finally putting the ice in your original holy grail from the last supper. You have chosen wisely. So what does $75 ice taste like? This tastes like water. This is water. Aha! I knew it! Before we get to number 1, remember to subscribe to All Things Top 5 and ring that bell to be notified for our latest videos. Number 1. Cat Coffee Cafes are always chasing the latest trend. Soy milk, turmeric lattes, nitrogen infusions, just to name a few. When rich people are drinking multiple cups of coffee a day, every day, variety and exclusivity is in high demand. Kopiluwak, the rarest beverage in the world. Take a whiff. Go ahead. Kopiluwak, also known as cash coffee, is one of the craziest and most expensive. Civet, an Indonesian cat-like animal, eats the fruit but can't fully digest the beans. The beans are fermented as they pass through the animal's digestive system, infused with the aroma from the renal gland, and cast out from the rain, giving them a complex, rich flavor. The beans are collected and cleaned to feces, then processed into coffee. The result is apparently delicious, though the unconventional production process guarantees a low supply. A single cup can range from $35 to $100, and if you want a pound of it, you'll have to shell out between $100 and $600. Cool. This coffee smells like It is Austin. Oh good, then it's not just me. It's a bit nutty. Oh. Do you agree or disagree with our list? Are the rich just a higher class of stupid? Comment below and watch our other videos. Subscribe to All Things Top 5.